Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will be talking about the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator, when to use which program, and why you will never want to use Photoshop for creating logos. I'm Kent, and this is Star Graphics. So the main difference between Photoshop and Illustrator is that Photoshop is based on raster or pixels and Illustrator is based on vectors. Here is what I mean by that. As you can see, I have drawn a small ball inside Photoshop, which is a pixel based editing software. From far away, you can see you don't notice any pixels. But if I zoom in really tight, you can see that the ball is actually created by individual pixels. So now let's hop inside Illustrator. And as you can see, I have made the same purple ball in here. So now let's zoom in really tight on this one too. Here you can see that no matter how far I zoom into the ball, I will never be able to see the pixels because there is none. So now you may be wondering why you should care about this and let me show you why. Now we're back in Photoshop and let's say we wanted this ball printed on a big surface like a wall for instance. This means that we will have to scale the ball to fit the wall. So let's try to scale this ball. As you can see, the edges of the ball is getting very pixelated. And if it was a photo, it would be even worse. This is because that each pixel is being scaled up to a size where it is visible. And this is why you will never want to create a logo inside Photoshop. You will always want your logo to be able to scale to fit both a small pen or a huge wall on a house without any issues. Now let's jump back into Illustrator to see how this ball reacts to scaling. And as you can see, I can easily scale this ball as much as I want without losing any quality. So when do you want to use which program you might ask? As the name suggests, basically Photoshop is made for photo editing as photos is created from pixels and Illustrator is made for illustrating or logo designing as we need the scalability with some exceptions. You will not be able to edit photos inside Illustrator, but you will be able to do illustrations inside Photoshop. Just be aware that if you do create illustrations inside Photoshop, you will need to set the canvas size to the actual size that you want your illustrations to be in or bigger, because you cannot scale your illustrations up afterwards, but you will be able to downscale them without losing quality. If you use Illustrator for your illustrations or your logos, you will never have to worry about any of this. If you want to know how to save your vector illustrations while maintaining the scalability, you can check out the video on the end card right now.